I was having this argument with my friend over how much is okay for a good wedding. Good wedding. And this came up after he said, he mentioned that 5 million was way too small to plan a wedding looking at how things are in nigeria how expensive things are you know we kept arguing back and forth and then he popped the question ada can you even plan a wedding with five hundred thousand naira?" now ladies and gentlemen you all know that i am not a professional events planner but my response to that question was a yes so in today's video i am going to further buttress why my yes was strong and I'm why i'm still maintaining my yes if you have a similar opinion if you share similar opinion with me or you have a different view from what i'm saying feel free to drop in the comment section today we're all going to learn from it <music> So what's up you all welcome to my channel if you're just tuning in like this is your first time of tuning into this channel my name is ada this i'm the host of this channel welcome on here and i am super excited to have you here and if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber welcome back guys and thank you so much for always supporting today we are all going to be event planners brace up and tighten your seat belts yes so how much do you think ideally is okay for a good wedding so on today's episode, we're going to find How out we're going to plan an event with just 500,000 Nigerian Naira. Do you think it's possible? I think it is. And that's what we're going to find out. So to start, guys, I have this and I have this, my writing um, pen, and it's for us to draw a checklist of what is important. But before we start, it's also good I mentioned to you um, where my argument is from. I don't have a biased opinion. I don't have a biased view on how much anyone could spend on their weddings, right? If you have it flaunted, I mean, you guys know that huh? I'm a soft life gang. I'm a soft life mover, right? I, I love I, I love chopping life. Um, if I have 500 and I want to plan for my wedding, is it going to be possible? This is how I'm seeing it. I am not also downplaying people that want to spend hundreds of billions of naira on their wedding. Do you? Uh -huh. On my checklist today, I have the rings. I have how many people are we even planning? First off, if you are someone that wants to call, um, if you are someone who wants to call the whole of the battalion to attend your wedding, hmm. news flash. Most people who attend your wedding do so for the refreshment. Nobody cares what happens after your wedding except a genuine few people. suggest to work with people you feel are genuine enough to be in your circle right uh let's work with 10 to 20 guests right let's put um what else your wedding gown let's put your suit let's put makeup let me also state here that to plan with a very low budget you need to play the selfish card, right? So this 500,000 naira has to be about you and your partner. Okay, so, so makeup, DJ, photographer, right? What else? Venue. Venue. Number nine on here, let me just put MC and still put it on. Axtery, so I've put photographer, videographer and accessories and i would explain some of this in details what else what else what else so you guys know that in all of these i've never mentioned refreshments right okay let's start um, allocating funds to our checklist right um you're going to make your wedding dress the material and a very good tailor will take off uh let's say 60k i'm looking at the uh, premium the maximum um max yes so i have a very good tailor that makes outfit for me good great out outfits for twenty five thousand naira. remember you're not going to do a cliche wedding no cinderella wedding where you have to change into this attire change into this reception no you're going to make a very simple um wedding dress that can also serve you as a reception dress right something really simple 
sassy and classy let's also put sexy to it rings i mean as in tracy you see um silver plated you see gold plated you can always get a better ring i mean i've i got i've had this for 12 years now um they are gold i had actually don't even pull it so i've had them for 12 years and they were 35,000 when i i got them so for um St. Tracy would give you something really, really nice that can last you while you're also hustling and uh, looking forward to having your dream rings. Um, let's put, let's put how much? Let's put 60k for rings, right? Um, then for your suits, let's put 50k for suits. Let's put for your makeup, let's put 20,000 there. I'm trying to make the dream myself. 20k. I will arrange better one for you. Do you need a DJ? A so photographer because you also need to have a memory. Trust me, you can just do photo shoot you, your spouse, and you can always negotiate something out for the day. It's not as if you're taking the whole day. So it's just um um a gentleman agreement you're going to have with the photographer, a badass photographer who can charge you 50 to get you nice portraits and send you some pictures, you scroll true you might not really have a photo book for now yeah so they can send you soft copies and something you can frame a portrait you can frame for your wedding so let's put 50k for photographer and maybe for videographer let's just put 70k photographer videographer something you're yeah, just a memory like a story they'll just share with you on your phone yeah guys so far we have Two sixty thousand naira. Um, for the venue, I I'm going to be choosing somewhere off where you can take your friends and go have a nice lunch, right? A round table lunch, lunch. buffet setting, classy with your guests. Let's even talk about Lagos, Nigeria, where we have four point Sheraton, somewhere very classy. You can do lunch, buffet lunch with your friends. Let's target ten guests. I mean, people that want to say what of their parents, what of this person, what of those people, uh, after the blessing from church, right? Tell your old papas, your old mamas, your great grand aunts, and all those your family and friends you can try to come and chill and eat with you to go to their houses. What you owe your parents is after nine months or whatever your agreement is, you give them triplets, twins, just do the knocking way may enter they'll be happy to come and enjoy with you right remember we're planning with okay, it so board. having said that guys what we're actually looking for is um buffet lunch for 12 people husband and wife with 10 of their closest pallies right and then um, if we're looking at four point sheraton where buffet lunch is about thirteen thousand five hundred, that's the max per head um for 12 people we're looking at 162,000 naira guys and um giving us a total of 422,000 naira so far we have left 78,000 naira <laughs> is he playing or is not playing now we're going to do sharpman for the 12 people it's going to be 36,000 right and we'll also be left with uh 78 minus 36 is going to give us 42,000 naira. So we'll have 42,000 naira left. Now someone is going to ask for DJ because we're doing this buffet, we actually don't need a DJ. What you need to do is to go and in for you. You're going to have a gentleman arrangement, right? Gentleman understanding with the people at the hotel, the restaurant you want to use, a very classy one, and they're going to be playing you very soft tones, you know, in the background. And um, this cancels out the DJ, right? And for the MC that's also on our list, get you a friend like Ada, who is just going to sit pretty, looking all classy, and is going to usher and anchor the program. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, huh? we're toasting to forever bliss, right? And so you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 42,000 naira. Where are we going to fix this 42,000 naira? It's left for us to decide. So I'll have to run through the checklist again. Guys, we'll have the rings check 60,000. Um, guest list 10, 10 people. Wedding dress for 60k. Suits for 50k. We have your makeup for 20k. 
we have photographer slash videographer for 70 for 70k then we have the venue which includes a very classy restaurant which includes a refreshment plus chapman at one sixty two thousand and another thirty six thousand leaving us with forty two thousand remember your mc is going to be one person from the lot who is just going to be a power and a talkative person who is just going to make the whole place lively so get you a friend like me right for this kind of events um we're still left with forty two thousand. drop in the comment section where you think okay so like i said this is not for me to come here and appear all perfect or i'm antagonizing people who are having very elaborate or lavish weddings no i am a shop life member if not the minister so for you to know that yes i love good life but what i'm against is you actually having to live in debt after your wedding i have this mindset after weddings after receptions comes the whole marriage properly how are you going to manage all that this is 12 years and counting and I actually planned my wedding with 200,000 naira. Yeah, someone might come to say 200,000 naira 12 years ago. If you give me that 200,000 naira today, I could still get, I could still bring out something very, very okay. Okay, so this is my breakdown, guys. And I asked again, how much do you think it's okay for a good wedding? Your opinions are going to be appreciated in the comment section share this video as much as possible and let's start recreating mindsets and drop some biases we have about weddings so ladies and gentlemen till the next video i still remain your girl ada adetunji see you all love you all